I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? God have mercy on our souls. Super Jail, Sundays at midnight on Adult Swim. And don't miss new Super Jail episodes coming April 3rd to Adult Swim. This is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. And this is a request from Aaron Daniel. Thank you so much for the request. If anyone wants to request any type of reviews, topics, reactions, re-reviews of movies, or anything else, you just send your request either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And this is for an episode of a show I had never heard of called Super Jail. Season 1, Episode 1, and for a split second I thought, is this like one of those, back in the day, you had those reality shows where they take people to scare them straight, or like sometimes, I don't just, which they take people in the prison who are young, def misdemeanor, or little, or kids, or teenagers, and it's like, hey, this is what it's like in prison, steer the shit out of them so they're going the straight and narrow path. Hence the term steered straight. Of course, nowadays it'd be like, oh, it's a homophobic thing. No, it's a different thing. That doesn't matter because that's not what this is. Uh, this is a cartoon that was on Adult Swim, which is sort of the more mature version of Cartoon Network. And I like Adult Swim. They have a lot of very interesting programs. My favorite being Robot Chicken. I'm a huge Robot Chicken fan. But because there's a lot of creativity on those shows uh, this one included now this is one that had about four seasons I guess three or four seasons it was created by three people uh, their names being Christy Caracas Stephen Warbrick and Ben Gruber now some of these folks have worked on behind the scenes of Daria or Beavis and Butthead or even Wrote for shows like Teen Titans Go and SpongeBob SquarePants. So it's definitely a combination. They also worked on. Um, well, I have it here. Christy Tarakis was a background designer of Daria, directed Robotomy for Cartoon Network, created Ball Masters 9009. Steven Warbrick, he worked behind the scenes on Beavis and Butthead and Daria, was a digital artist on MTV Celebrity Deathmatch. Ben Gruber wrote Ultra City 6060 on MTV's Cartoon Sushi. Wrote for shows like Teen Titans Go, SpongeBob SquarePants. And this is a very weird, very interesting show. 
because it's only 10 minutes long. It's very psychedelic, very surreal. That's one of the things I liked about it. I really enjoyed the animation. The animation does remind you of the MTV... Oh, what's the thing I'm, look, I'm thinking of? The, uh, back in the days of MTV, when they showed this stuff called music videos, they would also have these weird animation, and there was a block of animation. I forget what it's called now. I had it tip of my fucking tongue. Now it's just on the back of my ass, and I can't remember it. I'll probably remember when I turned off the fucking camera. Liquid television. There you go. Liquid television. This seems like something that would belong perfectly on liquid television. Which is nice to see that type of stuff. I mean, this was... I think the last episodes was maybe two, 2013 or so? Maybe 2014? But even, it's still... I guess that's not technically new, but... In the same decade. It's nice to see stuff like that being done. Sad, I guess the show's not on anymore. But this episode, it was... Uh, Season 1, Episode 1, called Super Bar. Now you have a warden. Like It takes place in a prison, but it's a prison that's in hell. But it's also like in alternate dimensions. It's a very surreal, surreal... It, it's one of those things you wonder what the hell's going to happen next during this 10 minutes. Again, it has that liquid television animation, which I highly enjoy. The warden, he looks like Willy Wonka. Like, uh, almost like Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. And in this one, he really wants to go out with this guard named Alice. But Alice is like a... It's a woman, but it's a guy who's like muscled up, but dressed as a woman. But yeah, it does like this. Uh, I guess what you call transgender. But it's like muscular. But he wants to go out with her. So he opens up this bar, a lot of inmates. It's one of those things where... Like, he starts off... With this guy with a crazy mullet throwing darts into people's faces and gets on a boat. And then a boat that has like a computer screen from the 1980s with uh, like a dot smile of a face. Imagine the computer in war games. If it had a face, it'd be like an old 80s like digital face. That's what... I'm like, okay, I, I like the old school look of this computer. But it's like part of a boat, and it keeps ramming the guy. And then one thing leads to another, and like picks him up. And the girl that's on the boat, like, ah! But it flies him towards, I guess, this prison. And it has this, I like the way the perspective of this shot. Where we see the guy hanging as this boat that now a plane is flying. And this guy's hanging, and we just see constant different types of islands. Like we see an island of beavers, uh, boy scouts, a steep ramp, one with like fucking Team Con, like just different islands as it goes to the state. It's very psychedelic. And again, it makes you wonder what's going to happen next. But I'll cut to the warden, talking about how he's going to open up this bar. They'll cut to, like, candy people and cookies whipping prisoners. They'll pull out, and it's someone taking a bath. So it's just, it's like remnants of them when they're taking a bath. Of this old hag, the Alice character. When the bar opens, prisoners, it's just very really craggly looking, ugly looking prisoners. Like, everyone looks like a fucking, uh... If you do this, it would go on their faces. Kind of like Beavis and Butthead when they would have like the big muscle guy who tried to beat the shit out of Beavis or Butthead. Or like the gym teacher or whoever. I just a lot of weird stuff, but fun, interesting stuff. Like uh, a person goes in the bathroom and there's like a, a robot warden thing going if you sprinkle when you tinkle please be neat and wipe the seat and of course the person like punches the shit out of it 
And then somehow, then he looks over and he sees like this whole sea of creatures and sen uh, is centaurs the right word to get like just all these different creatures. And then the prisoner's like, we we can escape through that. And like one prisoner has a tear bear tattoo, but it's called Hug Life. So Thug Life, Hug Life. From what I understand, each episode ends with this bloodbath with these prisoners getting killed by something. In this case, the the place just overrun by the sea, and there's fucking piranha eating people, octopus. People open a chest in the water, and there's these pirate skeletons come out. And then Alice, he, she, fucking tits ass. So it shows that she's a badass. Him, her, whatever. Idea is one of those things that uh, when I, it's not something that has character development. For what I understand, I guess in the later seasons it tried to do a bit more of that, which I mean that'd be interesting to see. But I, for what I said, the first season it was kind of random. Where you had, you know, the warning character, you had the Alice, the he, she, dark, you had. This little guy who works with the warden, and this one he's just getting drunk a lot. And you have these two who talk, who, they talk softly. These two guys, I swear they're dressed up like the guys from Logan's Run. And at one point they just disappear. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a hell prison, alter years. It's, it's a very weird, very interesting. But, I mean, it's 10 minutes long, so it doesn't take much of your time. If you like liquid television, it's definitely up your alley. The voices did their jobs fine. It's definitely got some violence and gore. And it'll keep you guessing as to what will happen next. And that's kind of fun. That's actually a very fun... That's a fun thing. It's not predictable. I'd have to see why this would have been successful, at least in a couple seasons. Again, I guess sadly not a ton, but it says here four seasons. And did it say how many episodes? 36 and one pilot. So it's not a ton, but you know, still a bit. And I guess... I guess there are DVD. Yeah, I guess there are DVDs of the first three seasons. I guess there's also an HBO Max if you have HBO Max. Well, that's weird though. Okay, it debuted 2008. Technically, the pilot was 2007, but 2008. The last season was in 2014, actually, and it was six episodes, but the last season has not been released, so that's strange. Like, why would they release the first three seasons on DVD, but not the last season? I, I hate when companies do that. This is a, a tangent. If you release, if it's a four-season show, and you release the first three, then just release the, f the fucking last one. Unless the last DVD ha- no, it says here- that the third season has 10 episodes. So the last six. Just release the last fucking six episodes then on DVD. For the people who like the show. For fuck's sake. Don't just like. We're not going to release the last season. Because fuck you. Well, fuck you then. It's like they stopped releasing the Robot Chicken DVDs. Which such as I was collecting them. Now they don't release Robot Chicken DVDs anymore. Which fucking blows. I just, I hate when companies do that. I hate when they start something, and then, no, we're not going to finish. Why? Because we fucking V. Then fuck, fuck you. Like, do it. Finish what you fucking started. It's like seven sex, but you don't know I'm not going to finish. Why? You started it, now I'm going to finish. I'm going to fuck corner and fit, like, and just go home with blue balls. Fuck the blue balls. Anyway, back to this. If you do find it to watch, I didn't whether you have HBO Max or you pick up the DVDs or you find it online to watch. Like I said, if you like liquid television, um, 
If you like that sort of thing, this is definitely up your alley. As it was for me. It was creative. It was uh, funny. As in, okay, that just happened. And, uh, definitely not typical, definitely not boring. And the fact it's only 10 minutes long, definitely goes by a good pace. So, with that said, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.